My name is Ingrid. I was born and raised in Rio. So right now I'm on a co-parent, yeah. co-parenting relationship. That means me and the father of my children, we live together, we co-parent, but we are not in a romantic relationship. His name is Jeff Howard. Am I alive? Am I good? My name is Jeff Howard and I'm 40 years old. I'm a father of two children. One thing that linked us, linked us together was the fact that we both wanted to have kids because we were both in our 30s. We felt that we lived life and off and we wanted to have kids. And then short after that, like six months later, I got pregnant with our first son. I didn't know what her intentions were as far as relationship-wise. I just knew we talked about having kids. And uh, anything past that, I don't know if we really talked about. If we talked about marriage back then, I don't remember it. He had his own life, I had mine. But we still realized he wanted to be around the kids as much as he wanted. Uh, we were not wanting to fight over custody and child support. So we decided let's just move in together, be together as co-parents for our kids, and then he can have his own personal life, and I'll have my own personal life as well. And Jeff knows that I plan on being with someone, marrying someone someday. I know he's been seeing a couple girls here and there, but nothing serious. Uh, Facebook? In the spirit of the holidays, I will do that. Okay, when thanks. the holidays are well, over, she, she blocked me on Facebook because I was seeing a girl who lives on the north side. Yeah, but hey, remember, you deleted me plenty of times, you blocked me before, yeah, so... You That's know. our relationship. Yeah. Vodka. <laughs> he grits like, just shut up. We get along enough to be civil to the point where we're co-parents and not want to kill each other. We want to kill each other all the time because we have nobody to help us. If we did have somebody to help us, we wouldn't want to kill each other as much because we'll have our separate time. That's true. I agree with that statement. We don't get along. He doesn't know what love is. I don't think he respects women. Just get to wake up every day and... Yes, we do respect each other. Like I said, we just don't have private time as much as we want because we don't have help so things end up blowing up and that was vodka we don't have a lot of choices so we just deal with it his mom she promised she was coming to help us till we get daycare for our kids situation and she never did so basically his mother failed his son and they're trying to blame on me, which I'm not gonna sit here and put up for that when it's not my fault. See, our relationship? That's what it is. That's why we're co-parents. You, you wanted the raw deal, right? Like you wanted the raw deal on camera? Yeah. You got the raw deal right here. And I hope you don't edit any of it. On Shit. my side, it's not a blame game. It's just stepping up for myself and See? defending myself. It's a blame game. if I don't game. do it, nobody will. So. I know you're ready for the next question. Go See? Somewhere. Next question, right? I'll come back. I love her to death. Even though we have our differences and... Um... You know, we're, we're co-parents, right? Like we, we've decided to make that, we made that decision together. But she walks around, like she gets out of the shower, baby's hanging out, I get out of the shower, penis hanging out. You know, there's a reason why we do that. There's a reason why we do that. We had sex for years and years and years. But you, when you live together, and we don't live in close quarters, but we live in quarters, where it's close enough, we 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 love each other. We love it. We love each other enough to get along together. We love each other enough to where it's tolerable. She gets out of the shower. She's like, "Where do you see my bra?" I'm like, "Nope, but those are nice boobs. <laughs> awesome." Or 
I'm pooping on the toilet and I got River in my bath bathroom with me. And she walks in on me because she's like, I got a question for you. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that. I love you to death. You're the mother of my children. <laughs> if something bad happened, I would beat the motherfucker up. I'm in charge. Like, I, I would... You have no idea. I have skills, like, that would... I don't need a handgun to protect my family in this apartment. I'm a combat veteran. I'm a bad motherfucker. I got skills. I got skills. I got a baseball bat hidden somewhere. I got a baseball bat. That's all I need. And the skills I have are like, they're worth a million dollars in fucking skills. Seriously, any more questions or are we done? I, we can end it. I, we can end it. It's fine. Yeah, more. Yeah. 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 To be honest, love is the worst drug that is out there. I never done cocaine, I never done heroin, but I can tell you, I've been through love, I've been through hell, and love is a very dangerous drug. You know, do I believe still in love? Deep inside me, I still do. But like, it's just gotta be careful with it. Cause yeah, it's a rough thing to be in it, in love. Yeah!